Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel and today we're gonna look at a prop from Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. We would be honored if you would join us. What's going on? Why are we doing Indiana Jones? This channel is supposed to be about Star Wars and my love for Star Wars, Star Wars fandom everywhere. Well, of course, I don't need to tell you that Indiana Jones is also a creation of George Lucas, and I think a lot of uh, crossover happens in the fandom. So I think typically if you're a fan of one, then you're also a fan of the other, and that's where, uh, well, <laughs> this getup comes in. Uh, today, came across something interesting on the old internet. Uh, I saw some pictures of a brand new store that just opened up at Disney World. So at Disney World, in their Hollywood studios, there is a den, a den of de <laughs> destiny, uh, store that's opened up next to the Indiana Jones, uh, stunt spectacular. And then inside that store, there are some movie used props. There's some costumes and <laughs> oddly enough, inside there, one of their, uh, glass cases is a deck of cards. Well, you know, I love playing cards and I love, uh, decks of cards, collecting cards, been collecting cards my entire life. I have a whole other channel uh, on YouTube devoted to magic and to playing cards. And so as soon as I saw that deck, I said, I know that deck. I have that deck. <laughs> so I don't know. Sometimes the props that are in those boxes are actually screen use props. Sometimes they're just, you know, replicas of, of, of the screen use prop. So I don't know how much screen time this prop actually gets. I don't know anything about it since None of us have seen the film yet. As of this recording, none of us have seen the film, but I wanted to show you that deck of cards and tell you where you can get it. So if you wanted to have a screen used, screen used <laughs> prop that you could put maybe in your Indiana Jones bag, uh, this would be uh, a fun one. So the picture says it's Helena Shaw's playing cards, right? So maybe She's sitting down at a table, maybe she's uh, playing poker, maybe she's gambling, whatever. Uh, I don't know, again, we don't know, we haven't seen the film yet, but I wanted to show this deck to you just in case you might wanna pick it up for yourself. All right, so we're gonna look inside the bag and check out this deck, and I invite you, I totally invite you, go check out the article of the new store, scroll down to where it shows you the, the deck of cards, and then go over to Amazon, that's where you can pick these up, you can find these at Amazon for, I think it was 15 bucks, $14, somewhere there. Uh, and then compare them side by side. Look at the deck that I'm gonna show you and then you tell me, you tell me, I think it's dead on. I think it's 100% identical down to the lines in the tuck box. I don't think they changed anything. I think, the, uh, I think the prop master went out and found a found item and didn't have to dress it up at all. Didn't, didn't have to make it look vintage, right? So inside my bag, we have the Magic Makers Faded Bicycle Deck. So you can see the striations, right? The little age lines that are on the front there. That looks exactly like the prop that is on display at uh, Disney World. So again, I'm not gonna say that <laughs> this is the exact prop that's used or, or if Disneyland just found a replica or they were sent a replica, but the one that's in the display case is this. It's, it's totally this, right? So this is the front of the tuck case, this is the back. You can see it's made to look worn, made to look vintage-y. And you know what, even, even if it's not, I think this would be a, a cool deck to put in, your, uh, put in your bag, right? As we're always looking for props to put in our bags to make our uh, costume look more authentic. And if you're ever at a convention or you know, you're out uh, trooping around as Indiana Jones, maybe you might wanna whip out a deck of cards and uh, play a game with somebody. So maybe this is a, a cool deck to uh, play games with. So that's the back of the cards. You can see it's made to look old, right? Made to look worn. It, the edges here, the border is even a faded off-white. It's not bright, it's not bright white, right? So that's how it spreads. If I have a red bicycle, I've got to have a red bicycle deck over here somewhere. Here we go. So just to show you, 
uh, side by side of the differences. See, much brighter, white border, crisp white. This is way, <laughs> way more distressed, right? So that's how it looks side by side. The front here are also vintage and, and, and straight up. So you can see the lines running through the ace. Joker, again, made to look old and worn. All your court cards are gonna be distressed. So it's an easy way, right? It's a super easy way to get a deck of cards that looks like it's gonna fit your costume, right? This is, it looks like it came right out of the era. Looks like you uh, have had these cards in your satchel for forever, but yet they're gonna be nice and crisp and clean. They're gonna shuffle well. They're gonna feel exactly uh, like a deck of cards should. I don't think there's anything else in this deck that really stands out. I mean, I've shown you the court cards. I've shown you the suits. Um, you get a couple. You get a couple of cards here that are used for a magic trick. Okay, they have misindexed pips, and uh, maybe if you follow one of my magic channels, I'll uh, reveal what this trick is. But uh, for those, for the muggles <laughs> that are out there watching, uh, I'll keep that a secret. So, uh, like I said, you can find these on Amazon. But I think even if uh, it's not available where you are or you're unable to find it. Just do a search for the faded bicycle deck from Magic Makers. Their URL says magicmakersinc.com and it says red faded deck. And that's, that's another thing. You can also find this in red or blue at Amazon. And like I said, I believe it is 15 bucks. And so there you go. Your uh, first acquisition owning a prop from the new Dial of Destiny movie. All right, so that's everything about the faded bicycle deck from Magic Makers. Like I said, you can go find this at Amazon for $15. Are you excited about the new film? You're gonna go see it? Are you the opening day kind of person? Are you gonna wait to see it, see what people say? You're gonna go in costume? Let me know down below. I'll see you guys next time. May the force be with you.